that is actually a true statement and that Homeland Security, like, that's what they're there for is a government military. Exactly. Honestly, I'm, in the, I'm going into social humanity services thing. Uh-huh. Anything that there's human services on it. Mm-hmm. All right. Our class decided, my teacher was like, hey, go to the library and go look up what human services is. All right. Everybody else does what? Top on the computer, Google some shit. Comes up with literally almost the same answer across the board. I, in turn, go find a book. Right. And not like any books, but the books that are normally by the librarian that are the really big, thick fucking government books. <laughs> Crack it open. Start reading. Holy shit. What the? Wait, you mean CCC, the little poison company, is the world's largest, largest <laughs> medical facility that actually attracts the drugs that we do from the FDA standing up pointing? <laughs> you mean these motherfuckers... Okay, so you're telling me that point in Transformers 3 when they go into the building at this Homeland Security, when it says, uh, the Human Services Department. Right. But it says on the side of the building, Human Services Department, but yet there's guards there. That's the real thing. Oh, yeah. Holding missiles and holding different accounts for different convulsions, real thing. Holding different diseases in different buildings and things to enact upon not only humans on this land, but enact human on humans outside of this land, real thing. Involving different diseases in different countries and making them a widespread thing. Real fucking thing. Oh, yeah. Putting it to where they blame certain things on other things. Real fucking thing. Oh, yeah. And it's all this shit. I'm like, damn, I'm about to work for these motherfuckers. <laughs> and everybody else comes back with some, uh, with some high school, like a Disney La La Land right. story. Oh, so the human services does this and this and this. Ah, yeah. oh, it's yeah. great. And I'm just like, where the fuck did you guys read? <laughs> Oh, we went on the internet. Read a book, motherfucker. <laughs> like, <laughs> like that, that was where they will put everything that they don't really want to know. Yes, you can go on the internet right. and yeah. accidentally type in something and find out a whole bunch of shit. Did that? Now I really don't like going to a lot of places no more. Uh, is a place called Northcom? Yeah, shit. I actually typed in a fucking... I was trying to look for them and actually typed in something else and actually found their, like, partner. But they're scientists, people, and they build shit. And the one thing that the, all the stuff that I saw pictures for that were military weren't talked about in any of their projects that they were doing. But they had pictures of them, but they wouldn't talk about them. Also, on that, on that, you have Alibaba. You can buy slaves on Alibaba now. Yeah. And also this other website that actually got they got sued over it for trafficking humans to um, slavery. They're called unskilled workers. You can buy them in prison suits, or you can buy them in regular suits. You can buy Mexican ones. You can buy them. They will fill your house, clean your shoes, and fucking maybe even bake your wife. And you can buy these as long as your as long as your as long as your money count is high enough and your official credit line with them is strong enough because they want to make sure you're not anybody else doing any of that shit. It only costs about like ten thousand dollars, if that, for a bundle. <laughs> So, I mean, you're really saving a lot of money. Slavery's just going to do a whole new method. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And then you have, what, you also have shotgun farms. That's Mexican slavery. Completely all the way down to where they, they, what they do is they take people from Mexico. They go like, hey, hop in this van. We'll give you, we'll give you an American ID. We'll give you an American social security number. We'll make you an American citizen. 